Alright, what's good YouTube? Uh, back at it. Already over here at uh, Double D's. Uh, we are going up to Parker. Yep. Going up to Parker, uh, Double D's going to buy some parts for some stuff. <laughs> But uh, we're taking actually his, uh, his charger, uh, his 05? 06. 06 charger. Uh, we haven't showed it on the channel. This is kind of like his like Sunday driver. Kind of like what the caliber is to me. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop in. And let's head on up there. It's clean up in Parker, so it's going to be a little drive, but it's worth, it's worth the drive. It is definitely worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, hop in the old, the old Sunday cruiser. Let's get on in. Pull my phone out. Just I gotta call when we get close up there. So. picked up a 72 dart swinger like a few months ago back in uh what was it july or something we got here uh picked up uh we'll show you all here in a little bit uh the guy that double d was buying it from he's out of town so his old lady helped us and i didn't want to really record <laughs> yeah stuff uh but yeah we got it in the uh I'll show a little video and stuff like that of what it is, but uh, we'll show more when we get to the house. And then uh, actually, uh, Double D, this is our or this is Double D's second trip up here. He actually bought some stuff. What was it earlier or last weekend? I uh, I think it was. Uh, it was a Saturday. It might have been Monday or I can't remember. Sometime sometime last week in the past here, just uh, he's actually came up here and he bought a whole bunch more stuff. I came up here to buy some stuff and he had some other stuff sitting there that he showed me. And he's like, hey, you know anybody interested in this? And so I got back home and kind of had to think about it, and, you know, try to talk myself out of it, but that didn't work. <laughs> so yeah, I messaged him back. And so here we are picking up the rest of it. The guy actually had a 68 charger that he bought all this stuff for. And uh, he ended up selling the car and moving to Colorado and he started going through all these like totes and stuff and found all this extra stuff he had so he just decided to get rid of it. So that's where I came in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's why I have it all now. <laughs> all right, Joe, we just got back to the uh, fort. Uh, I've not even like really looked at this stuff yet, but. So basically we went up and got this tote for uh, Double D's uh, buddy. Uh, there's a 
overdrive unit you said there was in here? Yeah, it's gear vendors. So, so there's that. Uh, as you see, the Mopar Performance valve covers. Yeah, they're just brand new in the bags. Looks like some water or something got on the box at one point. Housing. Mm. Oh, this is the big old extension housing. So you can move it back. looking for the wagon here's the wagon sitting in hibernation it's cold right. little little dirty <laughs> got a nice expensive coating of barn dust on it <laughs> so you got a power master torque starter from mopar milladon transmission or uh oil pickup tube i gotta see what it pan it fits i'm not really sure um all these arp bolts Basically, there's like there's valve covers in there. There's front timing cover. There's uh, what are these motor mount bolts, and they're all laying in a nice B and M deep fin transmission pan. There's a little spacer for it. Uh, there's a set of crane adjustable rocker arms back here. Those all came with it. Um, there's a brand new Edelbrock Performer 800 CFM carb. Those are not really my, not really, I don't really care for those carbs, but um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of a package deal that I bought. So I got this Edelbrock Torker 440 intake manifold that came with it. These Edelbrock Performer RPM cylinder heads that are aluminum, fully assembled. Minus the boxes, basically. This is kind of the main reason why I went after it. I've been looking for a set of these. Uh, the other one's like over here. Nice and cozy in our packing foam. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty exciting. Um, I got two other things down in the other shop that I took down there and put on the shelves already that I got with all this stuff too. So we'll have to take a little walk down there. Customer dialing in here, fixing some oil leaks on it. We got a no power performance water pump with it, aluminum one. Mopar performance. Water pump housing, not a 440 source one, but a Mopar performance one. Not to say anything bad about 440 source stuff because I got some of their stuff too. <laughs> um, so 
I think that was pretty much it. So speaking of 440 source, I've got a, a 383 that is stroked to a 496 sitting there. So I've been trying to figure out which cylinder has to put on. Uh, I'm thinking those are going to go on there, but it's possible I could put them on a 440 with the tunnel ram that I have too. Mm. Um, just all kinds of burrito power that we're going to try to make. <laughs> I happened to catch the post on Facebook Marketplace like 24 minutes in. And I jumped on it, messaged the guy, and <laughs> tried to talk myself out of it, and that didn't work, and <laughs> ended up going up there and buying it all. <laughs> so, but I think that's it for this little adventure that we took to uh, pick up some Mopar parts. Um, appreciate everybody watching DDET, DDETV. <laughs> <laughs> Say. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned to see what's next. <laughs> appreciate all the subscribers too, y'all. Yeah, we they, every day we get more and more, so we appreciate it. Heck yeah. Catch y'all on the next one.